Okay, wow. So two of cups and the devil. All right, so let's go through the energy, overall energy for the month. So when I do the overall energy, I'm going to read all the cards as you and the energy that the universe brings in for you. So I've been trying to, this new thing where I read the energies first, and then I break it down into individuals that are prominent in your life, okay? So for example, this can be a page of swords, but as for you, it's going to be read as you exhibiting the energy of an air sign so um, let's just go through it so the first thing is that we have the world and the world is definitely a period where you see a lot of expansion okay and this the card surrounding the world indicates to me definitely changes that have been that needed to happen in your life and for some reason were never gotten off the ground they're definitely coming in and there's no way you can stop it so these are changes that you know would be good for you but you know change is hard so usually we try to delay it and i do feel it's going to happen this month unfortunately um what's really helping you is that it's in the reverse position so you've known for quite some time this is something that needs to end so that new things can come on the heels of it and there's definitely a new person coming on the heels of that okay um, what's going to happen here is that there's definitely something from your past that you're still yearning for with the world. It can be work, relationships, partner, and things like that. There's definitely something that you're, you're someone that you're very physically attracted to. There's definitely a lot of attraction here with the world, the tower. The tower next to the world indicates to me it's... um. It's a situation where sudden attraction, like sudden physical attraction, because the world, she's naked, and there's definitely, you know, she's trying to bring things into her life, and she's doing it in a way where it's very innocent, where it's very open-hearted, open-minded, okay? So this is a card of expansion, and that when it's next to the tower like this, I do feel that there is definitely somebody that you really want, and you want them on a very primal level with the devil here. So it's definitely somebody that you're interested in. The feeling is mutual, just to keep that in mind. The feeling is definitely mutual. However, the attraction is a little bit disruptive. We have the tower with the five of wands, which indicates conflict, not seeing eye to eye with another person. And we also have two of cups, which is somebody might be emotionally blocked. It might be the other person, not you, because I do feel that, you know, Leos, you are very, very generous and open hearted with your feelings. I feel like out of all the zodiac signs, um, it's like Leos are the ones that are least guarded. So I do feel that in this situation, you're in the upright position. So you're putting it out there on the line. You're, you're, putting your, you're wearing your heart on your sleeves and you're just like, you know, this is what I want. I'm going after the person that I want. And um, for some reason, you and that person, you don't see eye to eye on a lot of things on an emotional level. They might be a little bit blocked. They might be blocked. There is also an element of risk associated with this union. I'm sensing there's a, an element of risk. So it could be they're in a relationship and, you know, you don't want their spouse finding out. Or it could be you're dating multiple people and you don't want your spouse, your significant other, finding out about this relationship. But either way, I do feel that it is very, very unstable. And there's an element of risk about it. There is definitely physical attraction. But there's, you know, is it enough to counter the risk? Is the physical attraction so great that you have to have the other person despite the other people who might be involved, whom you might hurt? So you want to really think this through, okay? There's definitely unbridled passion being unleashed in this spread and you really want to, to direct the flow of the energy. You're in the upright position. So I do feel you have... You have total control as to how you want to steer this. So make the right choices and do the right thing, okay? I also feel here, this is, you know, our, um, our I guess, um, our higher self speaking to our lower self. 
And it's sort of like, you should do this, but you know, but I want to do this, even though it's not grounded in reality. So this is a very important month for you to really decide, take the high road, okay, take the high road and try to do the right thing. And I feel that you are going to do the right thing. But I just want you to know that, you know, like, um, I feel that a lot of fire signs in general has a very strong moral compass and a, a, a very deep rooted sense of like personal integrity. For you, it's like black or white. There's very little gray area. Air signs, they can rationalize and they can make a gray area turn black or white based on their ability to reason, on their ability to argue, on their ability to rationalize, to make sense of what they're doing or to justify what they're doing. With fire signs, it's pretty much, you know, black or white. But in this situation, what I mean is it's sort of like, and this is not going to apply for all, but this is just an example. Um, for example, you are involved with somebody who's married and you're just like, you know, it's, um, it's a good relationship as long as the person you're involved with, their spouse doesn't find out. If he or she doesn't find out, then I'm not hurting anybody. That's rationalizing. And I do feel that's what you're in danger of doing this month. So be very careful just because it doesn't hurt anybody just because everyone can keep their mouth shut and you know no secret leaks out on an energetic level we are sending out vibrations every minute of the day so if we do things that we know is is wrong despite no one getting hurt despite people not finding out you can send out the wrong vibration and it can get you stuck in unhealthy situations okay so that's just something i want you to be careful about like i said i'm reading the cards as your energies first so this is like using the ability for rational thinking in a potentially harmful way so you want to be careful about the energies you're projecting and aim to always 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 do the right thing despite whoever you know is watching okay so just aim to do the right thing um i do feel that you are going to do the right thing but the temptation for this month is just so great make sure you look at the bigger picture i do feel a lot of temptations coming through so you can take a retreat if you feel like you're about to succumb to temptation and you know, I, I don't feel anything catastrophic coming from this, but um, if you're involved with another person and you knowingly, like, you know that they're, um, they're with a, another person, just, just don't do it. it. It's bad karma, okay? It's just bad karma. It's bad vibrational energy and that you're sending out. And the other person, they don't really deserve the time of day anyway. So just don't do that. Okay, so that's just to protect yourself from getting hurt. Um, on another level, if you're not in like, you know, love triangles and things like that, I feel that I, I don't feel deception. I don't sense lies associated with this spread that much. I, I don't feel it. I feel like if it's like the tower, it might have happened. It might be residual energy from that eclipse. And then by the end of this month, you're walking away scotch-free, which is really good. But I do feel that a lot of you might be in relationship with somebody. There's an element of risk involved. And usually that's associated with, you know, somebody who's married with a spouse and they don't want, um, they don't want to have like clandestine affairs. Or there might be an element of risk. There's something like under the radar happening in your relationship sector. And you want to bring it out into the, the open. You want to like um, have a full disclaimer but there's something that is hidden that can't come out to the light, okay? Because I have Page of Swords, which indicates communication. And there's something suppressed here. I do feel there's something suppressed here. It can be emotions. It can just be, you know, the relationship itself. It's sort of like somebody who contacts you only when they want to, you know, sleep with you. And you only see them, you know, in the night nighttime. So it can't come out in the light of day. So... Know your own self-worth and know what you're willing to settle for. Despite the physical attraction you might feel towards that person, if they can't give you the time of day, if they can't give you the devotion, if they can't even match what you're giving them, which is, you know, your, your heart on your sleeves, your time, your devotion, 
the excitement and the energy that you bring and the commitment that you bring to the relationship, then it's not worth it. So you want to find something a little bit more stable for yourself. So either way, you're going to walk away from this cleanly. There's definitely some severing ties coming through for you. So relationships that have been rocky, that have that have a very um, poor foundation, you know, built on nothing but lust and physical attraction, those are going to end. And I do feel you're going to put an end to it. It's not that the other person walks out or anything like that. There has definitely been some revelations coming through that you can't deny any longer. There have been some truths being revealed about the nature of this person or the relationship. And you're starting to realize, you know, this is the month in which you make the major decision whether or not you want to transform the relationship into something that is more in alignment with what you want or you are going to walk away cleanly. And I don't feel this person is going to come back because the relationship has run its course. When I get the two of cups in the reverse position, it indicates to me something that is potentially karmic. It can be a soulmate relationship. It can be faded. But the point is both parties have already adequately learned from one another. And especially coming on the heels of the tower, the lesson has been... It's just like it's thrown out there. You take the lesson and you move on or you don't take the lesson and you you keep yourself stuck and then the lesson is has to be repeated with another person. So that's just the way that um, things work out in our lives. We have to learn the lesson. It can be the hard way. Usually when the universe intervenes to 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 bring things to light, it comes about in a very dramatic way. But it's fast, it's swift, and you can't really deny it any longer. And you're going to have to take the lesson and move forward with your life, okay? For those of you who are involved with like another fire sign, I do sense that um, some information came to light and you were doubting the fidelity of the relationship. If you're involved with another fire sign, like another, uh, another Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries, you were doubting the longevity and the fidelity in the relationship and I do feel that through you know the past few months your partner has always been there so your partner knows that um well you at least know that your partner is stable and your partner is going to be with you through thick and thin so there's definitely some transformation happening in a relationship if you are with a fire sign male or female okay um, if for those of you who are dating an air sign who or who are interested in air signs, I definitely see that um, if you are dating an air sign, things might be coming to a head, disagreements. Um, I do feel that there might have been some immense structural changes going on with the air sign. They might be leaving the vicinity. There might be issues with like uh, alcohol abuse with this air sign there might be harsh words exchanged this month between you and an air sign where you are questioning whether or not the relationship is worth continuing on I also feel that a lot of you are going to go back and you know hash things out with this air sign because um, at the center of the spread is an air sign Aquarius Gemini Libra and Underneath that is the Two of Cups. So this is definitely a faded relationship. In the past, there was a lot of, um, you know, there's, there's definitely passion. There's definitely some element of risk associated with this union. And that's why this union is in the reverse position. And that's why it can't really be brought out into the light of day. And I do feel that you and this air sign innately, there's a lot of physical attraction, mainly because you don't really see eye to eye and it it's you know the opposites attract type of energy okay because you are a leo it might be an aquarius because the aquarius are the polar opposites so it might be that's why there's this immense sense of um attraction because you're both so different from one another so you might be tempted to give this another go and that's fine but i do feel that you know Think about if there are definitely some risk involved in this union, in this relationship, think about why that is and if you're doing the right thing, if they're doing the right thing. And if they're not doing the right thing, just ask yourself if you can be with somebody who is compromising their moral integrity. 
I don't feel you're compromising, but you know, you want to be, you want to ask the question, which is, you know, can I be with somebody who is selling themselves short, for example? Um, aside from that, on the work front, let's look at the work situation. I'm not getting a single pentacles card, but let me see. A lot of you might have recently relocated. A lot of you are working long distance, you know, commuting long distances, stretch over, commuting over stretches, like long stretches of, of land, I'm sensing, in order to get to your work. And this is starting to, to take its toll on you. And you're realizing that, you know, the risk is too great, mainly because I'm driving all the time. I'm on the road all the time. I'm tired. I'm sleep deprived. I need to, you know, chug coffee in order to stay up. So I have to make a, a change here. If you're looking for work, I do feel that if it hasn't come in in September, it's going to be around. Let me see. It's going to take like around another two months for an for new job situations to come in okay so we are in October so it's going to be like around possibly even the end of um, the end of December because the full card indicates to me a brand new year cycle as well it's a zero so I'm sensing like that transitional period between December and January of 2016 uh, that's when the new job will come in for you if you are commuting a lot, be very careful about accidents, especially the, f just be careful about accidents, um, you know, being sleep deprived and things like that. I don't sense car accidents. I don't sense car accidents, but I do feel that, you know, if you're just sleep deprived constantly because of a long commute and then you go to work and there are like little errors here and there and you're not careful about where you're walking, it's just those things that um, re they're they're basically signifiers. They're telling us that you know. They're telling us to be careful, and when they have to tell us to be careful, there's definitely something that we're we're missing, and it's because we're breezing through life, or we're so busy, and there's so much movement around us that we don't have the time to really sit and listen to or at least keep an eye out for all these signs okay so one other thing I would say is you know whenever you're watching this and if you want to take my advice on this I strongly recommend it um, start out this month just asking the universe you know if you believe in angels if you believe in spirit guides if you believe in just a higher power that is out there or if you believe in a specific God just ask what are some of the messages that I should pay attention to for this month? Okay, just throw it out there before you go to sleep or before a, a stressful, before, before the start of a potentially stressful day. You know, just ask like, what are some messages that I should look out for? And um, just see what, what floats in because I do feel that Something is telling you to be careful and to slow down, okay? And I don't feel it's like major physical harm, but I do sense that it's on the the emotional, it's on the passion, it's on the the heart front that you might have overlooked. And I do feel definitely a lot of busy energy about you, a lot of people, a lot of collaboration that needs to happen, a lot of compromise coming through. So it's a very other-oriented month. And in the process of dealing with other people, you are very accommodating as a fire sign. You want everyone to be happy. You want everyone to feel good. And you you don't mind compromising yourself as long as the other people are happy. So this is something that you are actually very good at brokering peace. You are very good at getting everybody on board. You're very good at inspiring other people. Just make sure it's for the right reasons. And also just make sure that you know, always, always, always aim for the right thing, even if no one's looking, okay? Because I do feel, once again, temptations, temptations. It's sort of like, um, for some reason, for October, there is, um, the devil has been showing up across the board, and also the lover's card, which indicates choices and temptations. So I'm sensing maybe it's the transition between the seasons, where the weather gets a little bit colder, people are, you know, coupling up. I, I don't know, maybe it's like a biological need for us to couple up in order to survive the harsh winter. But either way, there's definitely some temptation in the works for you. Um, 
I do feel that a lot of you this month, you're just trying to find love and you're trying to find the right one. And you're tired of things not working out. You're tired of investing your time and dealing with jealousies, dealing with people that they say one thing, they mean another, insincere people. Or dealing with people who are like overly jealous or they're they're immature and they 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 um they might try to manipulate you emotionally by provoking you to jealousy. So you're tired of it. You can see through it. You don't call them out on it because you care about them and you don't want to embarrass them. But they just I feel like they, they take advantage of it. So Moving forward, you just want somebody that will treasure you and you want, you know, a, a committed relationship, I feel, for a lot of you. And you do want an equal footing in a partnership. You want someone who will meet you halfway and you're tired of having to do all the work. You're tired of having to drive, you know, that 40 kilometers in order to meet your lover and they never, ever take the time to travel to see you. They always talk about it. They never follow through. And you're tired of the, you know, the inequality in the relationship. So this is definitely the month for you to reassess what it is that you're still getting out of this relationship and to see if it's balanced and equal and to see if it's worth it. And if it's not, sever ties. Cut your losses and move on because there is definitely other people that will be more than willing to date you, that will be more willing to compromise with you. As long as you're able to do that, I do feel, you know, there is going to be new love. So keep yourself open. There are at least three court cards. So at least we know there are other people in your periphery. And you're a fire sign. So I don't feel that you're going to be lacking in candidates to date. Okay, so cut your losses with somebody. If you have been constantly driving to come see them and they keep telling you, oh, one day, one day, one day I'll come see you. And they never follow through, whoever it is. Just let it go. Just let it go. It's not worth it. Life is too short, okay? So Leos, I do hope you have a wonderful Halloween. Once again, stay safe. Um, if you do end relationships with somebody, do it cordially and just, you know, tell them, we let's be friends and mean it. And I do feel that it's going to allow you an opportunity to heal because you're going to realize that in the future, um, you're going to so so what I'm sensing is if you you like you, if you're upset about somebody because they're flaky or they've never contributed equally to the amount to the relationship in the amount that you have then what's going to happen is you can tell them you know let's just go our separate ways and let's be friends and then you you know you're not there yet but you're saying that mainly because you do want to be friends you do care about them and then like months later so this is going to be like January February you look back and you're just like, actually, my friends are a lot, you know, a lot more sincere. My true friends are, my true friends will travel that 40 miles to be with me. So no, I, I actually don't want to be friends. I, I think I'll just have you out of my life. So I feel like months from now, that's how you're going to look at the situation. And you're just like, I'm really glad I said, let's be friends. Because I downplayed how much that relationship meant to me, even though it really hurt me to walk away. But I'm so glad I was the bigger person and I said that. So that's just a random message. But I, I feel like it needed to be said because I feel like you connect with it. So Leos, take care of yourself. 